Like, look at this. From that to this. Like, how can you not love aloe vera? Like, gosh, man, guys. <laughs> So the first thing you need to do is to get some aloe vera. I got these from my neighbor. They're actually quite thick, so I didn't need much. The third one is from my sister. Next, we're going to just slice up each leaf into smaller parts. So it'll be easier for us to extract the jelly that's in the middle because that's really the most important part. That's the part we're going to be using in our treatment. So that's what we need to extract from the leaf itself. Next, we're going to take each of the little pieces that we cut up before and we're going to cut the sides to get off the look of spike is something I'm saying that you could put yourself an eye on and then we're going to cut along the side of the green section so you can get the gel out so you do that on both sides so it's like bam on the side, bam on the other side and then cut out the inside and that's what we do for every single one of them we're gonna add the water and then we're going to blend it up be careful of the amount of water that you use because you don't want to dilute the aloe vera too much and try not to over blend it so you won't have a lot of fine particles to deal with in your hair you may be wondering how we're gonna get the juice like extract the juice from this whole mess that we just blended up I'm gonna use a stocking I guess you can use any material that you know can be used as a strainer I'm gonna use a stocking and I cut a piece of the leg and then I'm asking my brother to assist me with throwing this out and all I do I just squeeze squeeze and squeeze squeeze out the juice and that's really it it really is that simple finally we're done the last thing that you need to do is to get a bottle that you'll store this in you can use an applicator bottle but i'll be using an old mousse bottle so guys i just want to show you what yeah aloe vera is doing but i just want to show you what the aloe vera really does to my hair like look at this then let me show you the part that's not done yet. See? From that to this. Like, how can you not love aloe vera? Like, gosh, man, guys. I tried to get a proper setup to show you um how I apply it. But let's see if we can figure it out. I don't think it's completely necessary to show you guys every single detail because it really is just add it and then rake it through. But guys, I just wanted to show you that aloe is amazing. Like, my hair was so dry. It was so, so dry. Um, definitely, there's a difference between my wash days with or without aloe vera. I think this is like the second or third time I'm using it to pre-pool. Yeah, I never used to like use it because it was always annoying to me. And that's why I chose the method that I found of actually getting the gel separated from the, the green part, the actual plant. I uh, plan to use this, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. It really is awesome, it's awesome. So I do, I've done this and this already and this one. Let me just stop real quick. But I wanted to show you guys at least a little part of how I apply it. So let me just twist this up real quick. I just take the aloe gel. I was trying to make a mousse, but it's not spraying like a mousse. And honestly, for wash day, I don't know if it's for me alone. These things, oh, let me show you. These stuff, they're annoying. Like, like every minute throughout your wash day, no. Your hands are wet, so it's going to be hard to do that. So I rather just have the liquid or whatever out. So that's why I like the. Let me show you. That's why I like these containers. You can just take them off and then you just dip your hand in there. That's what I need to do because wash day, I would have time to be stushy. I forget your hand into stuff. Here we go. I'm not big on applicator bottles because like, every time I buy them, they kind of just have a hole in the bottom when I buy them. But you just take it here and you 
that baptize the hair in our Really and truly, I should be trying to get it out, but it's hard. It's hard, guys. It's hard because the tops are small, and then you just rake it through and like look at your curls. Do I look at my curls? I'm sure it's gonna be just as nice for you. Like, look at that, guys. Look at this, and it's coming from this no definition and dry to beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm gonna baptize the rest of my hair in aloe vera. And then I just run it through. And you just see your curls coming through, guys. I'm gonna do one more on camera. And then I'm just going to focus on getting my hair done. Okay, to save space and help with editing. I'm going to stop recording now and get back to you guys when my hair is done. I have all of this left. Let me show you the back. So I have all of this, this left to do. I'm gonna be doing it real quick. So let me just go ahead and do that and get back to you guys in So guys, I am done, and this is my hair. I'm gonna turn on the light. I'm gonna let this stay in my hair. I don't know for how long. My sister suggested let it stay overnight, but me and somebody we really keep things in my hair overnight because I like sleeping freely. I don't like sleeping with product. If you guys do it like deep conditioner overnight or pre poo overnight, let me know how that goes for you guys. But I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. Anyways, I'm gonna show you my hair again. Beautiful. It's beautiful. You guys see where it's coming from? It's coming from this dry state. So now it's actually it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. I love it. Anyways, let me just do this first. I put the excess oil on my scalp because I want it to get to my scalp. And now we're gonna cover this. For how long, I'm not sure. I may or may not wash my hair today. Probably will though, because I don't like having stuff in my hair overnight. But anyways, guys, this is it for my video. I'm so sorry, guys. I should have washed it out and showed you after, but I forgot. I forgot. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, comment, and share with your friends so that they can, you know, get the hack or learn the hack of dealing with aloe and their hair because I don't know if any product will be left. Probably when I'm done editing and stuff, I'll just let you guys know if there was any product. Was there product like left? Not product, but was there aloe residue? Res is it aloe? Is the term residue? Was it art? Right, Chinese. Editing Chinese. Was there aloe left in your hair when you were done rinsing it out and stuff? Let me know. Yeah, that was kind of a little bit. It wasn't obvious, but I could see it. Okay, that's the answer, guys. <laughs> it is, guys. Later. So. Oh. It's my elbow. What that sound like? We're going to eat some aloe vera. I have some on my face right now. And in my hairline. We're all getting a cube. It's good for lowering your blood sugar up. I don't know what else. I'm not gonna chew. I'm not gonna, gonna swallow. So I'm gonna get your piece. Get your piece on. But I'm not in the Morris, get your piece. Come and stop that. At least let them see you look. Morris is our twin, guys. Morris, come show them where you at me. I feel was skinny. Come in, Evan. 
This is the aloe vera cube. Am I just eating it? That so no like matter. Mine, good for you. Mighty. 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 Get this. Get this. You got it? No. Mighty. It's hard for God to get out of your throat. That's it for Mighty. Swallow it. Swallow it. Swallow it. You're not going to live for me. What is this? What kind of food is your food? Mighty. Huh? Mighty. Mmm, oh, it's full. I told you this time. Mighty. 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 I feel like I want to put something there for mine though. Green something there for both of them. Shiny, swallow it. It's bitter. We have one more piece left for Maurice. Maurice. Go. Stop going to the Maurice. Just be a part of the. It's traveling. It's traveling. Okay. Adam, stop. I joke. One more. Maurice, come now. Yeah. No idea. I can make my mistake too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so